So in this video, we're going to explain how to do the electrical connections. I must bear in mind that if you connect anything to your electrical system, you need a qualified electrician, which I had to do this. Um, you need to know what you're doing. If you actually connect to the electrical system and you're not a qualified electrician, you have a six months jail sentence. So this is a disclaimer about this in the UK. Um, you cannot touch your electrical system. Um, this is obviously um, where you need a qualified electrician. So I must stress you need a qualified electrician. All I'm explaining to you here is where the wires go and how it works. So yeah, let's go ahead. So, so as you can see, we have an inverter. See, we got the wire in there, we got the batteries there. Um, and obviously we've got the meter and stuff there now the way it works is different to the way a standard electricity system works and um, the inverter will obviously invert from the batteries to 240 volts and um, then the 240 volts will be fed into your system electrically and um, through your mains cupboard now Obviously, you've got your meter there, which obviously feeds in from the grid, and you obviously got your connections to your main fuse box there. Now, your inverter will have a connection, and um, it'll be called grid to this particular fuse box. Now, if you see the two red switches there, that is the main switches for the whole fuse box, and um, you can see that. So, obviously. The electrician explained to me, yeah, yeah, your grid connection is going to be from from these two red wire red switches, um, to the inverter grid connection, which is obviously at the bottom. Now every every inverter has the same setup. It's got a grid connection, which you can see at the bottom there. It's got a load connection. Now your load connection is something called EPS, emergency power supply. Now we're not going to go into that today. This is for the next video. Um, but we're going to concentrate on the grid connection, which allows the, the actual battery voltage that's generated to can be converted to 240 volts to be fed back into your house fuse box to power all your devices. Now, the way electricity obviously works is um, resistance. So if you've got resistance, um, e.g. you got an inverter pumping 240 volts into your fuse box your outside electric is not going to get through so that's what, that's what you call resistance so the most least resistance to the voltage is going to get through to your fuse box so this is obviously going to be the inverter and this is the way it works it's called balancing um, between the AC and um, that's the way AC works so, obviously, um, if you look there, you get your two little switches there for your fuse box. And them switches will have a plus and a minus, uh, a neutral and a live at the top of the connection. So when you open all this up, obviously you need to be a qualified electrician. Everything needs to be switched off because there is a danger of death if you don't know what you're doing. But essentially you've got your plus your minus connected into the fuse box which goes back around to the grid connection to the inverter which is, which is here which converts the voltage from them batteries to 240 volts AC you've got a DC conversion there to AC and um, so obviously the grid connection is you've got your positive which is your brown wire your neutral which is your blue wire and you've obviously got an earth now as you can see on the batteries themselves we've earthed the batteries together so if you look from the top and um, you'll see the earth connection going to the next battery go to the next battery go to the next battery next battery to the next battery this is just in case of a fault you need to obviously earth the batteries because that's very important and um, the last battery which is the master battery the last earth will go to your inverter and um, which if you look at the back you will see it connected if 
I just get it there. You you follow the green wire, um, and you'll see it connected to the back of the inverter to the metal. Um, so you can get a better shot there. Um, see, there there's, there's your shot there. So, so from your wire there. The earth wire there, sorry, it's obviously a bit hard getting because there's loads of stuff in the way. The earth wire from your batteries, all connected together using the earth, will go back round to the earth connection on the back of the inverter. You can see at the back of the inverter there, the metal, this is the way you earth them batteries all together to the earth. So you've got a positive and neutral going into your fuse box, which is called the grid and voltage and obviously you've got your earth as well so only qualified electrician can connect them all together so in the next video i'll explain how to do the ct clamps now the C ct clamps are very important because what they actually administer is the way the system works so if you think about ct clamps they're going to monitor the bat the voltage coming from solar panels and they're going to let you know how many kilowatts you've got coming from your solar panels and then um, how much voltage you've got generated from your batteries either charging or discharging in your house so this is going to be your next video and um, in terms of connections and stuff there's nothing much more i can explain because you need to have a qualified electrician and if i go in depth and how to open fuse boxes and stuff like that i'll be breaking the law so I'm not going to obviously break the law. I'm just giving you a guide of how it works. Um, so the next video we're going to concentrate on CT clamps, which is basically tells the inverter how much voltage is coming in from the solar panels, how much is going out in the house, and how much is being put back in from the batteries into the house. So to get the your display on, on your inverter, if you look there, um, to get them numbers, so top left you can see 3.21 kilowatts coming in you got zero grid which is good that means we're on free electric and um, not, nothing is costing us anything we've got a loading house of 0.3 and we can see ourselves the batteries are charging themselves as well so um this obviously the next video is going to concentrate on how the the actual inverter which is a so far inverter this is get its actual um root data for this particular display and um, so yeah tune into my next video and um, any questions put it in the comments and please subscribe and um, i can explain further in this video but um the next video obviously is going to be much better regarding and um, how we do the ct clamps how it monitors the system and how to connect the ct clamps to the main board and a ct clamp is just a monitoring device it monitors resistance for your wires and for your electrical grid so the inverter knows how much in, how much has been generated using solar, how much has been generated using grid, and obviously how much is generated using the batteries as well. So this is the way the information is sought. So yeah, please subscribe to my next video. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry it's a bit of a long video, but this is obviously needs explaining very, very in-depth because we're in the realms of obviously danger here because of the fuse box and stuff like that. So um, thank you very much. Bye-bye.